Okay, if you don't mind, I think I'm going to sit for this. So let's go through our lesson quiz. Uh, here's our summary of everything that we've talked about today. I've included the very large stars, which manufacture iron. They do go supernova, and then they become black holes. So question number one, what property of a star determines all of its other properties? It's mass. Question number two, why can't a small gas cloud turn into a star? So it doesn't have enough mass, which means it doesn't generate enough gravity, which means it doesn't generate enough pressure, which means it doesn't generate enough temperature to get to that magic number of 10 million Kelvin. A small star burns up its fuel slower than a large one, slower. Number four, a star begins to die when it runs out of hydrogen. So uh, when it runs out of hydrogen, it's gonna begin to die. Uh, the stars that are making um, uh, carbon and neon and the other elements in the periodic table, they have moved off the HR, uh, they moved off the main sequence part of the HR diagram. Any star that is currently taking hydrogen and turning it into helium is on the main sequence of the HR diagram. When it starts to make any of these other elements, it's going to start to move off of that uh, main sequence in the, into that area where you have the red giants. Uh, rank the size of the following objects. So which one is going to be the largest? Okay, that's going to be the red giant. Okay, then what's the next size smaller? That's going to be the, the white dwarf. Okay, then the smallest one, the next smallest one, is going to be the neutron star. And then really, the black hole doesn't have any size to it because it has shrunk to a mathematical point. Now, it does have that event horizon, but remember the event horizon, it's not physically part of the black hole. What determines if iron can be manufactured in a star? Okay, it's going to be its temperature. So only the very largest stars are going to have enough gravity, enough pressure, enough temperature to be able to manufacture iron. Number seven, stars which manufacture the element what will go supernova? Iron. Number eight, a pulsar is a rapidly spinning neutron star. Why are black holes black? Okay, they do have this event horizon and so that is, it's a, a boundary, and if you go in, uh, light itself cannot escape the event horizon of a black hole. So any light that is inside the event horizon of a black hole, it doesn't have enough velocity, enough escape velocity, in order to escape out of the black hole. It's gonna be sucked in to the event horizon. Anything outside the event horizon does have enough energy, enough speed, to be able to escape the gravity of the black hole. So, there you go. So, that concludes unit number three. And so, now it is time to take your unit three exam. And so, you might want to watch my unit three uh, review of unit three. And otherwise, uh, if you want to continue, uh, the next lesson that we're going to be doing is going to be on uh, the universe and galaxies. So I'll see you then.